The main tool palette provides access to all of the individual tools needed for creating a 2D drawing. As we work, follow along and create the same items that we do in the video. Watch the prompts. They'll give you tips as you create. This single line tool draws lines by setting a start point and an end point for the line, while this multi-line tool allows you to pick points, setting the start point and end point, and then following end points, creating a connected series of line segments. The midpoint line allows you to set or draw a line by defining where the midpoint for that line will be and one of the endpoints. The other endpoint is set the same distance away on the opposite side of the midpoint. Drag through the tool set, tear it off, and drop it anywhere in the workspace to give you quick access to the entire set of tools. The parallel tool allows you to drag a line segment and create a duplicate. Use snap modes to position the parallel lines. The parallel is an exact copy the same angle and even in the same direction from the original. The arc tools in this case allow you to create an arc by defining its starting and ending point and then dragging out to set a point on the arc. This tool allows you to define the center point for the arc and then a point defining where the arc starts, dragging around and defining the ending point for that arc or its included angle. The resulting geometry, a line, an arc, a circle, will always be the same. The only difference here is the method used to create it. In this case, the circle is being drawn by setting two opposing points on that circle, defining its diameter, basically. In this case, defining the circle by its center point and a point on the circle. If you look up in the data input window, you'll notice just an X and Y coordinate. That's the center point for the circle and its diameter. That's what defines that circle. The next tool set is rather unique. These are polygons. Unlike the other tools so far that we've used, the polygon tools are a little unique in each one that you create. The first tool, the rectangle tool, has a set of sub-tools. These are different methods for drawing that specific type of polygon, the rectangle. In this case, a center point and dragging a corner out. This method draws from corner to opposing corner to create the rectangle. Polygons are unique in that the resulting geometry can be a combination of single individual line segments or what's called a smart polygon. The individual line segments are just that. You can delete each one, change its pen color. A smart polygon, all four segments in this case, are seen as a single entity. Special properties, this has a fill associated with it automatically and you can calculate its area. An inscribed polygon is defined by the polygon's center point and a point defining the radius of that polygon. This drawing method will create the polygon inside the radius of its bounding circle, whereas a circumscribed polygon is created in the same fashion. However, it will be created around the outside of its defining circle and there is a wide variety of curve options available as well as you create. From the view menu, choose user view. These are custom views and the 2D drawing exercises view. Each of these graphics can be created using the tools that we've been working with as well as the snaps that you learned how to use in the previous tutorials. Notice that in this case when we drew the bottom line, we used the single line option. However, if we delete that, you'll notice that we can go back and use the midpoint line tool, and it will make that task much easier. As you create, 
you'll look at the circumstances and pick the tool that makes it easiest to achieve the results. And the midpoint line tool makes this much easier. And we'll use the same tool to create the ends. In fact, after the first is drawn, by pressing the control key, you can click a single point and a duplicate of what you just drew will be placed. Notice we used the midpoint line tool so the point that you picked was the midpoint designating that next copied version. The next graphic will be created of just lines and using the special alignment options that you learned in the SNAPS tutorial. Remember, moving the cursor over a point as you drag sets that point as a reference point and allows you to align to it. Next to the circles, we'll choose the center and side version, draw the circle. While it's selected, go up to the data input window and change the diameter to 3 inches. And then we'll set the center point at the center of the existing circle, draw it, and set the diameter to 4 inches in the data input window. This allows you to draw and edit the geometry by precise sizes up in the data input window. To draw the next graphic, first a circle, and then a polygon snapping its center to the center point of the circle. You'll choose between inscribed and circumscribed. Notice that inscribed actually allows you to set the point based on its endpoint rather than midpoint of that segment another reason to choose between them. Next, draw a single line and then place an arc. Again, based on these circumstances, setting the starting and ending point for the arc and then a point on the arc would be the easiest option. Remember, look at the circumstances and then choose the right tool. Draw the arc. and next draw the vertical line now we're going to use alignment using those two endpoints of the above line as reference points to align to now we'll set a circle by defining a line as kind of a construction line. And then we'll snap to its two endpoints. We're doing this just to give you ideas of different ways to construct. And back to our line tools. And in this case, we'll go to the double line tool, set the offset above, and notice that as you draw with the double line tool, it automatically cleans up the corners for you. And last, we'll just draw a curve. Practice these basic exercises to get comfortable with them.